Hey everybody, welcome to the Gilly contract mission that Reinstein is going to tackle for his Kerbal Space Program 1.05 career mode um, playthrough. Here we go. So we find ourselves approaching Gilly right here. Um, it was quite difficult for me to get um, an approach to it. I don't know why. I, I kind of messed up a lot of the um, maneuvers and stuff like that. But thankfully, I still remembered to have enough fuel on board. Now you can see in the top right hand corner the objectives we're aiming to complete are achieve orbit around Gilly, transmit or recover scientific data from space around Gilly, land on Gilly, and then transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of Gilly. So obviously I needed to land and uh, uh, land kind of that you know in order to get all of the things completed. So I'm com completing the first part of the mission here by getting loads of science, and uh, you can see I've got quite a lot, but I'm, a I'm having to lose some by transmitting it. It's not enabling me to get 150 science unless I return back to Kerbin. Now, I did have some problems trying to do this without um, extending my solar panels. I ran out of uh, electricity regularly, so I had to remember put them out while I'm beaming out all this electric uh, beaming out all this science data. It's using electricity, so by extending them, I'm obviously getting loads of electricity back, enabling me to complete the mission and transmit the data safely. Look at the weird angles being cre created there. Some sort of graphical glitch, but. Basically, I kind of overshot the periapsis of Gilly, so I needed to do an emergency break-in procedure in order to be swallowed up by the absolutely minuscule gravity that is evident on Gilly. Now, you'll see what I mean by the small amount of gravity later on in the video. So here's kind of my weird approach to it. Um, if I create another maneuver, I'll be able to land on it, but hopefully... I can create one maneuver here. Now it's just just overshot it a little bit. I'm going to be plowing into the dark side of Gilly here. So I need to create another emergency maneuver and make it a circular orbit because the first part of our contract is to achieve orbit around Gilly. I've done the second part, but not the first part. Reinstein, you are a plum. A great big juicy purple plum. So here we go. We're approaching the maneuver point don't need to be too precise as long as I meet it. A tiny little gravitational, uh, tiny little delta V change here enables me to create that orbit. And like I said, that is because of the tiny amount of gravity. I would imagine, I don't know the exact numbers, but gravity's got to be less than Minmus. It has to be. It barely holds, holds on to me. Now, here we go. We're going to get a material study while in space, high over Gilly. Gives us loads and loads of data, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I want to save this for when I land. Um, here we go. Now, I wanted to make sure I land on the light side. It's always a good idea to try and get your landing spot on the light side of a planet or a moon. Otherwise, for one, you'll be running out of electricity. For two, you can't actually see where you're landing. So it opens up uh, the possibility of crashing. Now, I kept checking. See how much data I can get, and I thought, yeah, this looks like the, the highest amount of data I can get, so let's do it. Um, you can see I've got a full complement of available scientific uh, research instruments on my rocket. I've got uh, the, what are they called now, the uh, Mystery Goo. I've got the Science Junior, the Temperature Reader, and the Pressure Measurer. So here we go. We're getting to the point where we need to do our burn. You can see how quickly um, Gilly's rotating as well. This has only speeded up one and a half times, um, but it is rotating relatively quickly and trying to find a flat landing spot on this quite grotesque potato shaped planet or moon is uh, relatively, eh, can be difficult. Although, like I say, because the gravity is so low, you can adjust where you're going to land relatively easily. Now you just want to be a bit careful here. Any small delta V change will significantly increase either your orbit or your landing area. So we need to wait until we get around to the correct part. Now I'm looking at my thing and I'm thinking, yeah, let's try and take some uh, pressure data. But no, we're not going to get any data. I guess there's not really any pressure in uh, outer space or we've already got that data. So fast forwarding ever so slightly and we get to our little sort of we're basically it looks like we're hovering over Gilly and that's essentially what we are doing the speed at which we're descending was quite frankly ridiculous now this video or this mission did take about 40 minutes to complete in real time 
Uh, so I've edited it, edited it, no, edited it down to approximately eight and a half minutes, um, just because I don't need to show you all the other nonsense of taking off and stuff. You've seen my rockets, you've seen what I can do. Now, it might have been a good idea to retract my solar panels here, but I wasn't too too bothered. I, I figure, as we're not going to be plummeting at any great speed to this this planet, uh, this moon, then we're going to be fine. So. Uh, here we go, we can see sort of I'm landing in a not, it's, it's kind of looks flat. Uh, as you get closer, you can you see more of the deviations and the uh, inclinations and elevations, lots of Asians, of the surface of Gilly. Uh, but I quite like this rocket, it was easy to control, it was uh, functional, got me to Gilly, at, with relatively low amount of... Um, uh, parts, to be honest. Uh, I mean, the number of parts available to me uh, because of our lack of science was quite low. So I, I found this to be quite a good achievement. You can see we're beaming back some more data. We've got loads more data to get, and this will enable us to unlock some more complicated parts. So that's cool. So yeah, as, as we approach the surface, you can see this is like a hill we're going to land on. Um, and the only two parts of the contract we have remaining are land on Gilly. So just by touching the surface, I'll achieve that. Pretty easy, right? And the second, or the last part, fourth part, is transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of Gilly. And that is exactly what I intend to do, providing I can land this slowly descending dildo-shaped rocket. So here we go. We get closer to the landing. Look, look at the, uh, just notice the speed. I don't really need to increase my acceleration hardly at all in order to change my velocity. And uh, because I've got no landing legs, I thought, well, I'm not going to let that um, stop me. Because of the low gravity, I'll just try and skid across the surface and come to a stop. <laughs> and the little nozzle on the rocket is doing it. A tiny little burst of speed there just lifted me off the surface again. Quite frankly, there's a ludicrous, ludicrously low gravity. I wonder what would happen to us if we were on there. We'd probably just float off into space. I don't know. But here we go, trying to get some, trying to stop and uh, trying to uh, control which way you're tilting the rocket was quite difficult here. Had I planned it better, obviously I would have used landing legs and stopped being such a plum. But I found a nice angle that would enable me to just hover on the surface. And look, I'm barely moving across the surface. So we achieved the landing on Gilly, albeit in a crappy kind of way, but we did it get some more scientific data and beam that back and that completes the contract. Job done. Um, what I actually do is just leave the rocket here. I don't need to bring it back. Uh, may have had enough fuel, may not have, but I thought if I leave it on the surface, much like we did in the last episode on the moon, we can uh, potentially take more readings further on in time. And I don't think, unless there's an earthquake or anything, I don't know of any on this planet or this moon, then our rocket's just going to stay where it is. So the next thing I had to do was use all the scientific data we got, 385 points, and I researched the seismometer. So thanks for watching.